Yep, there's no place like home. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back? And I'll whip up a feast. I can't release my full power if I don't have something tasty to eat. Good thing we left the chamber early. All right. I've never felt a stone this hard before. This ought to be enough meat. Just need to catch some fish next. be enough fish. Great! This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. Pretty tasty. All right. Happy hunting! Chi Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. I <laughs> can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix us something nice, so hold your horses. Ta-da! Finished. Oh, wow! It smells delicious. I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys. Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun! I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier! Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus, a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku. Remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah, <sighs> such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know! I should excuse myself 
They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan! Hmm. What should I do now? Hey. Someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great! Thanks! Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Got it. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. This must be what Bulma was talking about. to take this back to Capsule Core. Hi, Bulma! Is this everything? Looks like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh hey! What's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. <sighs> well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kinda numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh… No problem. 